Am I live? Are you sure? What's up everyone? This is Tobin here. Gonna answer some of your questions. <laughs> um, any questions? Humana, any questions? How's camping so far? Good. Thanks for the birthday love today. I'm feeling it. Camp's been awesome here in Denver. Um, preparing for two friendlies against Japan. Um. <laughs> um. Tori. inspires me to play soccer. Um, I think just my love of the game inspires me to play. Um, I just love playing. I love seeing um, just how good I could be. And obviously with the U.S. team, it's just always an awesome opportunity to play with the best players in the world. Oh, thoughts on North Carolina win. I'm super stoked for the girls. Um, just so awesome. I'm looking forward to the guys game as well. It's really cool to have just two strong programs and go Tar Heels. <laughs> this is a small font. <laughs> um, funny. How did I get the number 17? Uh, I just, it's kind of um, rare on the Nash team when numbers open up. So when I was younger, you, you kind of get thrown around between numbers, but I finally settled on 17 and, and I love it. I think it's a cool number. Um, I love the number seven in general. Um, so I really like representing that number. Um, somebody asked, when did I start playing football? I started playing when I was four in the back of a YMCA. And I still can remember that, that day, which is kind of weird. Um, but I just remember the love and passion like I had from the, for the game. And then since then, I just wanted to keep playing, playing, playing. And um, it's been cool. It's been good to me. How are you? your handles on a basketball? I'm like Steph Curry. I taught him a few things. Just kidding. <clears throat> my favorite food I think my favorite food would have to be um, ah, it's tough I just like food in general I love eating out I love going to new restaurants I love trying new food uh, I feel like super spoiled like that and I'm always traveling, so I'm always in sweet cities with a lot of good food. And it's sweet because I play in Portland where I think it's just such a foodie city and I love trying new places there. <laughs> Why well, do Allie Long and I call each other Harry? That seems to be a popular question um, these days. <laughs> I feel like, um, yeah, it's a long story, but I think at this point we kind of don't know why we call each other Harry, it just has stuck and yeah, it's kind of all we know now and it comes out on the field a lot and other people start saying it, which is kind of funny, but she's just, she's just Harry. <laughs> hmm. Top three favorite cities would have to be, I love New York, I love LA, and I love Portland, definitely. And and Paris, of course, was, was good to me during my time there. My like football idol growing up was uh, Ronaldinho. I absolutely love him when I was little. I studied him and I watched all his videos and I tried to do everything and I just, I loved the way he looked when he played football. I loved that feeling I got when every time he touched the ball and he just always did something that nobody thought he would do and, and I thought that was a really sweet quality and it was just something so attractive to me about like the way he played so that's kind of who I, I tried to mimic my game after when I was younger.
<laughs> Good questions, guys, by the way. Who's my roommate? My roommate currently is the one and only Mal Pugh. Um, <laughs> I guess um, I'm, I'm stuck with the, the little one. Uh, but she's awesome. I love that kid. She's going to be a superstar. Um, and it's just a great kid. And it's fun kind of being around that that younger generation because you kind of, you realize how old you are and you also um, remember what it was like when you first got on the team. And and I love, I love that kid, she's awesome. Favorite holiday? Definitely Christmas, come on. Yeah. I'm not one for birthdays, so. It was kind of just like one of those days. My favorite boot. Um, I've been wearing Vapors for a long time. I love them. My Vapors now uh, feel like slippers to me. And I love wearing them. And I love my color wave right now because it's like a sunset. So it's sick when I look down at my shoes. I just think I'm at the beach or something. Why isn't Lauren your favorite holiday? <laughs> That's a really good one. Lauren is my favorite holiday. I miss that girl so much. And yeah, she was one amazing player, but even better friend. <laughs> Pre-game ritual. I feel like a lot of people always ask me that, like, what do you do before game? Um, I always, like, I love playing night games. I think there's no better thing. Um, and I always hard chill the whole entire day. I literally probably don't move or raise my heart rate at all. Um, I don't really have any superstitions or anything like that. So um, when I get to the game, I just kind of do what I feel like I need to do to be ready to play. Hmm. Favorite music? Uh, dang, I just like, I think I'm just like a lover of music in general. I listen to everything, um, old and new, and yeah, and all different sorts of genres. Um, so I just like, I'm literally listening to music all the time. It's kind of weird when there isn't any music on. These questions are awesome. Who? What am I most looking forward to in Rio? Well, first I hope to make the team, and second, um, I think just having the Olympics in such a rich soccer country as Brazil, um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I think the fans are gonna be great obviously the way that the tournament's structured we get to be in a lot of different parts of the country which is sweet um i'm like such a huge fan of brazilian culture and stuff like that so just kind of being in in that country and and playing football i think will be a very cool olympic experience How did the pitch jump between the pitch jump? I don't even know how it started to to be real. Like most things, I feel like they just kind of happen and then they stick. And we had done it for so long now, jumping on the field together, that it's weird for me starting a game um, not jumping on the field because I'm kind of a loner now. <laughs> and I have to jump on the field alone, which which is kind of a bummer, but um, I'm always, it's actually kind of a cool moment because I always think of them before I jump on the field because um, they're just so special to me and, and my time with the national team. So, so even though I'm jumping by myself, I'm always thinking about those guys. Waffles or pancakes? I love breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast person. Um, even if I wake up at in the afternoon, I have to have breakfast first. Um, so I'd probably say both waffles and pancakes because I kind of carb load in general, <laughs> which may not be the best thing, but um, yeah, I'd say waffle, pancakes, 
Um, and bagels are definitely my staples. Who are your best friends on the national team? Uh, I think uh, I I find like the national team to be like such a cool place for me because I've grown up so much on this team and so many people that are on this team with me I've known since I was like 14 or something years old which is which is crazy so I've been through like a lot of life with these girls and so they're not just my teammates they're they're my family and and it's so cool to be able to kind of have this journey with with just like these amazing women who have known me since I was young. Favorite thing to do in the off season? My favorite thing to do in the off season is definitely to be at the beach, to hang out with my family, to do all those things that like you just don't get to do during the season. Even something like go for a hike or something like that because just so much about our downtime when we're in the season is just about recovery and, and making sure you're ready for that next training camp, that next game. So I just, I love those opportunities to kind of like get to see my family whenever I want and be at the beach. <laughs> do you do yoga? I would say I attempt yoga on the reg. Uh, <laughs> it is a constant battle. Uh, I think it's super important for recovery. I've I've found it like an active recovery for me after games and stuff like that has helped me help me out a lot. Um, so I do a form of yoga, and a lot of um, a lot of the national team we we always do a yoga session as a recovery session, and then even with my Portland Thorns we we do it too. So it's a pretty big part of our recovery. I'm no yogi, but but I try. Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? What a good question. Uh, Messi. <laughs> Messi's the best. Uh, I think when Ronaldo was younger, I I was a huge Ronaldo fan because I felt like he was just um, super fun to watch. Nowadays, he's just so decisive. I mean, it's just he could take three touches in the game and all three are goals, which is cool. But I just feel like. Messi still creates so many opportunities for himself when he dribbles through like a whole team and scores. So in that way, I enjoy watching Messi play. Two more, Two more questions. Boom, boom, boom. I think my spirit animal is a dolphin because uh, I love being in the water and I love riding waves. And I feel like they're so chill and stuff and, and they look friendly. And then they can like also beat up sharks, so they're kind of like awesome in that way too, because like they're not scared of anything. Um, so I'd say that's my spirit animal. All right, last question. You can see I'm getting excited. <laughs> um... <laughs> waiting for it. Waiting for it. Am I excited for Ali Long's wedding? Definitely. Um, Allie's one of my best friends and she's wild. And I love the chick so much. I'm so pumped for her. I love her fiance. He's the man. Shout out to Bati. If you're watching, which you probably aren't. But yeah, they're just such a sick couple and I love them. And my favorite color is orange. It's the best. Thank you guys for all your questions. It's been pretty fun. Uh, I'll get back to my birthday. Uh, thanks for all the love. You guys are awesome. And watch our game versus Japan. See ya.